Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, yes, I'm on the gym setting today. Um, I figure I would actually do something a little bit different because I think for anyone that watched my last check-in video, I really don't like just sitting in my chair. I don't sit very often. It doesn't feel very natural. So, here we are getting my cardio in for Monday. So, usually on a Monday, I don't have any training that I have to get done. Um, it's just some steps. So it's my busiest day uh, in the office. So if I didn't come in here in the morning and actually do some walking or planned exercise, my daily step count is horrendous. It's like 2000 steps for the whole day because everything that I do is just standing in front of my computer. So I usually try to get in early, get about 10,000 steps on the board. So then I can just kind of stand still for the rest of the day. <laughs> I guess let's think about the weekend uh, or the last couple of weeks because it's been two weeks I think since I've done a check-in with you guys. I've been pretty lax I think with my nutrition for the last two weeks. I have a target, a maintenance calorie target uh, that I've been working towards um, which is 1870. Um, but it's been difficult to actually determine how accurate that is because I haven't been compliant to those numbers. I've been doing quite a bit of calorie cycling over the last few weeks. Um, obviously with some of the big days like Christmas and New Year, um, I might have gone up to say 2,400 calories and then I'll try and reel it back um, and have some slightly lower days um, to kind of bring my overall weekly energy balance around those numbers. But it's probably been a little bit higher. I haven't tracked everything that I've eaten. Um, so my weight is up a little bit um, and I was a little bit nervous I think this morning because I had my check-in day and I know that I hadn't logged what I ate for dinner last night, what we had for dessert and I was already over my weekly, I guess, calorie allowance. <laughs> so I think the old me would have been really worried and kind of starting the week a little bit anxious. Like, oh my God, you know, my weight's up. I'm going to feel really like self-conscious or whatever. But I really just tried to think about, you know, it's, it's so important not to rush back into fat loss. Um, and so what if your weight's up for a couple of days? If you are consistent for the next week, um, your weight's going to get back down to where it was and your clothes will feel better, things will be better. Uh, and not to let that stress kind of take hold of like my I guess day-to-day -day emotions so yeah I think this week my macro targets are still about 145 protein uh, which sees me right in kind of the recommended middle range for optimal protein intakes um, so it's about 2.5 grams god I'm so puffed <laughs> half a kilogram of lean body mass and then my carb target 187 and 57 is my fat fat target for the week so it's kind of loosely what I'm trying to follow I know that if I do a good job with those this week I'll be right back down to where I was um, before moving into last week but I did do quite a bit of travel so um, I went away to a little town called Anna Maria it's here in Florida um, it's like a quaint little beach town um, it's less touristy a lot more I guess locals um, and property, like people that own, own properties, not so much holidays. And kind of did a little bit of this goal setting for the year. Um, I really wanted to take some time to think about the, the things that I wanted to get done. Um, I had a friend of mine who had actually also reached out and wanted to get some, I guess, a feedback around her startup business. So it was kind of a bit of a girls, two days of girls getting together strategizing, planning. I did a little bit of mentoring with her, um, just how to kind of get her business up and growing, what products and services like to create from the ground up. Um, and really took some time to think about what I want to do this year, because a lot of our big projects have kind of taken off and I'm always used to having like something new to work towards. But this year, for me, it's going to be quite different. I don't have a performance goal. I don't have a physique goal, which is probably the first time ever coming into a new year. Um, I'm pretty comfortable. Like I don't feel like I need to make 
huge changes to my body comp anymore. Like I've got the muscle that I want in my lower body. Don't really need to do anything and I don't need to be lean. <laughs> so I'm kind of just happy. So those goals are very much just maintenance. Same for my strength. Um, but a lot of the stuff that I want to do this year is pertaining to like refining processes and making everything that we have better. Like how can we improve this service? How can we make, uh, I guess, our business a bit more seam, um, seamless, streamline? How can we make our coaches really happy? Um, what can we do to continue expanding and growing? That's kind of scary <laughs> because it's a lot of just like internalization, reflection, being kind of critical, but then how can we make it a positive and continue to improve what we do? So that's kind of what I did for the last week. Kept up my training. We had the kids, so we got to like get out on the bikes over the weekend. We spent a bit of time with some other families that also have kiddos. Learned to skate, got Liviera on the skateboard, which is awesome. So yeah, we had a really nice weekend. So anyhow, I guess checking in for this week. Um, I probably can do it now actually. Let's do my check-in. All right, so I'm just gonna go into carbon right now. So. If we go back to the diary view, you can see yesterday, <laughs> there's already 571 calories over my goal and uh, I didn't even track my desserts. <laughs> so I'm going to be non-compliant, but hang on, let's just jump in. So going to the coaching page, you can see there it's my check-in day, it's saying it's time to check in. Check-ins are seven day windows by the way, but you can check in early or you can check in a couple of days late if you have travel and you can foresee that's gonna be a little bit tough. So checking in, um, was I compliant to my macro targets? You can see there, the tracked average is 1951. And I didn't track everything, I know, I didn't track everything, so clearly I'm already over my allowable budget for the week. So I'm gonna hit no. My current weight, I didn't take my weight today, but I took my weight two days ago, and it was sitting at 70. I don't know my body fat, it's not recent enough, but I am close to my menstrual cycle, so that's due to start in the next three days. So I'm going to put yes. It's probably also one of the reasons why I've had a little bit of a harder time being compliant to my macros. I think for the girls out there, you just tend to be a little bit more emotional, and if you have any tendencies to eat emotionally and that's absolutely a pastime for me I'm certainly trying to work away from that but it does creep back in so I have to be a little bit compassionate to myself in those moments because usually that would piss me off that I'm still like why can't I fix that why can't I change it I should be able to do better but there's going to be moments where even I fall back into those bad habits it's not the end of the world just keep doing better so does everything look okay? Compliant, no. Check in weight, 70. Body fat, not sure. Menstrual cycle, yes. Complete check in. God, I'm sweating so bad. So, things didn't go to plan. Your calories and macros are a little far off for our liking, don't worry. Uh, you can get back on track. Let's try to hit your targets a little closer every day this week. You've got this. So, you can see there my macros haven't changed. I'm gonna keep those targets. I don't have anything planned this week. Having a quiet month for February, uh, January moving forwards. <clears throat> okay, so that's my target and check-in for the week. I guess I'll just do a little better. <laughs> so guys, if you have any questions about, I guess, carbon, um, how it works, how it operates, <laughs> uh, if you have any questions or comments about anything from the last week, um, please feel free to give me comment below in the description and I guess I will see you somewhere <laughs> next week. Catch you next time.